In this experiment, we're going to see if there is a difference in the water holding capacity of our soil media and rooting success. And we're going to do that with this beautiful uh, purple salvia plant. Now, one of the problems with propagating material this time of year is that you're almost always, eh, it's spring, right? It's like late spring. So uh, pretty much everything is going to be starting to flower right now. And flowering is really bad for rooting. Uh, because if the plant already has the hormones going through it for um, flowering, it means it's on its way to senescence or death. It is finishing out its reproductive life, life cycle. And even in uh, perennial plants, uh, this, this is going to be a huge draw and a huge um, energy cost to the plant to have these flowers. So we want to get rid of the flowers. Um, whenever we're propagating these plants. So we'll just kind of start by taking these off here in general. And then I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and talk to you a little bit about the soil media that we're gonna use. There we go. And the last one. Oh, nope, I see the one over here. They're tricking me. Okay, there we go. So this is all cleaned up and I have a nice big bucket of those. I'm just gonna put this back in the water for now. Well, um, we kind of go through this. So uh, we're using two different products. One is just a regular potting mix that has a little bit of, uh, there's probably like coconut core in here and some orky kind of stuff, like shredded stuff, and then also some perlite in here. And the water holding capacity of this is gonna be pretty good. I'm not really sure what the index number is on it, uh, but it's gonna be pretty good for holding water. Uh, but it'll have a little bit less air space. And so, I don't know, maybe we'll see if that um, is a big deal or not. Uh, the other product that we're gonna use is called Vermiculite. Um, and I just bought this at like Friedman's. It came in a little bag like this. This is probably kind of a small bag. It took one bag to fill this uh, two gallon pot, but that's okay. Uh, this is like a puffed rock and it's very, very lightweight. It almost feels like styrofoam and it's kind of spongy. Um, and it has like no water holding capacity, right? Like these are very, very big chunks. They're very uh, porous. So this is gonna be very, very airy and light on this side. Now, if we're um, using a mist system in general, uh, the kind of goal is you wanna get roots before you rot. And sometimes if your water holding capacity is too high in your soil media, uh, like if there's clay in it or um, if you've been using like really heavy soil from outside in your yard, um, then your plants would have a tendency to rot before they would root. Okay, so, so there is an advantage to being a, a bit more porous. Um, and for the sake of this experiment, we want kind of two, well, an extreme circumstance and then a normal circumstance uh, to see which one works out better. Okay. So we're gonna take our stem that we just kind of trimmed up and we're gonna do 20 cuttings of each. Um, I selected these two gallon pots because they're a lot deeper than the flats that we were using before, like this one. Um, and on these plants, uh, the inner nodes are quite far apart. So I needed something that was gonna be a lot deeper so that I would be able to get at least two of those nodes under the soil and then one node above. So it looks like I'm just going to start with this one here. And when I trimmed it on my plant, I made sure that I left uh, a pair of nodes on the plant so it'll grow and be healthy and look good. And then I'm just going to cut this bottom one off here. And I'm going to try to roll around these two nodes, this one here and this one here, um, in this rooting compound. Actually, yeah. Salvias may not even need rooting compound, to be honest with you. There are some plants that just root. I mean, um, I'm sure that, you know, maybe you know someone who's tried to just root cuttings on their window by just sticking them in, the, in some water in a jar, and they just take right off, right? So there we go. This is our first cutting, and we just shoved it right in there. We're going to do 20 in each of these pots. Um, it's pre-moistened, and so I'm going to just keep going here. Uh, let's see, if I cut this one off down here, there we go, we'll just make this a thing here. See, now I have, this is the problem. This is all inner node here. 
Um, and it was a little V-notch down there at the bottom, so that wouldn't have necessarily been good. Uh, but we can use that V-notch to our advantage if we, if we cut it off to the side with one of our stems. So um, in this case, I cut that V so that it split. This is where it was connected before. I'm going to keep this and, and put this in the rooting hormone and hope that that roots. And then maybe pick some more of these leaves off the top up here. So that I only have, I only want to keep the top set of leaves on these plants. And you could even reduce it more, like, like these leaves that are on this one are, are quite yellow. I can trim those off because the yellow leaves really aren't going to do anything for me later on. They're just going to fall off. It's not like they're going to get better. So um, it's a good idea probably to trim that stuff off. And if your stem feels like it's a little squishy and tender, like it might just break off if you just use your hands, then go ahead and use your clippers. Here we go. See now this... This didn't really retain a good node part of that V-notch. This kind of got the short end of the stick. It's like when you get the smaller half of the wishbone. So um, my next node isn't until all the way up here. And this gives me a fairly short cutting. So that's going to be good. The length of the cutting isn't really what we're concerned with here. It's really about the, the rooting success of the, of the hormones. And it doesn't, I mean, I guess if you are a bigger stem, um, you already have more moisture in you, so it might not be um, as inclined to dry out quite as quickly. Okay, we're going to keep this V-notch on this one. So I'm keeping the V-notch on this one. I'm going to take off this funky piece in the middle. And I've dipped that in rooting hormone, and then we'll see if this part grows. Some of these look really fun, huh? This is kind of a crazy-looking plant. The bees love this plant. People love it, this plant. It smells good. Uh, you can do pretty much anything in the mint family this way. Mint family plants have square stems and opposite leaves. And a lot of them are things that you eat, like basil and rosemary. Stuff like that. Okay, this one's got a little craziness happening to it. Look at that. Wow. That got really, really curly and weird. Okay, so... Maybe I'll just keep the center one because it'll look the straightest. I mean, all these decisions are up to you, right? Like, if you really wanted it to be kind of a curly, weird plant, train it so it's going to be a curly, weird plant. I like curly, weird plants, too. I got a couple of those out in the yard. There we go. All right. So some of these, it looks like I'm leaving a little bit more tissue on than others. That's okay. Here's another V-notch, so I'm going to take and cut this piece off. I'm going to keep that notch, and that's going to be my node, and maybe I'll get roots out of both sides on that. I'm going to trim this one off because it's pretty low. That'll be below the soil. Take it off. Uh, and then take off the yellow leaves. And then this is going to be a huge draw on it, right? So that's a lot of top growth to try to support with no roots. So we'll do that, and then I'll trim up these sides here. I'm going to do the same exact thing for the plants that are going to go in the potting soil mix. And we'll just have 20 on each side. Uh, I think we're just analyzing all of the rooted cuttings on one particular day. And it's probably that uh, data collection day that we have built into the last, uh, or next to the last week of the quarter. So um, I'll touch base with you again about that. Uh, but I think that that's probably when this is going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and do the other uh, 20 for this, and then these are going to go on some bottom heat and in the mist table over in the little greenhouse, and then we'll just uh, see what happens. <laughs> 